You are watching I Care with Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Thank you again for joining me today as we go before the Lord and we just bring a word to you because I've already been praying for you and I want you to know that God cares for you and so do I. So I brought, I'm bringing another short word to you this morning uh, just to encourage you, strengthen you in your area of believing God for your finances. You know, many times we, as Solomon said, you know, people so and won't so because of what's going on around them. You know, the sun is too hot, the rain and all of these type of things. But you know what we have to do? We have to obey and follow the word of God so that no matter what comes, we are still a prosperous people because the Lord our God has given us the way to stay in covenant with him and to make sure our finances are covered. So even in times where, where we may have to, to uh, give up jobs and so forth, God is still our source. But I want to say this to you. I want you to hear me very clearly. Regardless of what's going on around you, you have to keep your focus on the living God. Listen to his voice. Hear what he says to you because he will surely guide you when it comes to your finances. You know, the word of God declares again in, the, in Genesis, the 12th chapter, concerning, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, concerning Isaac. Isaac was in a land of famine. Isaac was in a land where it dried up. And Isaac wanted to leave that land, but God told him, no, you stay there, and he's going to prosper him right there in that land. So listen to what this, this, this in the verse uh, number 12, begin with verse 12. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year, listen to this very carefully, and received in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord did what the Lord blessed him. Now you think about that just a moment. He, first of all, he received a hundredfold, and the scripture says the Lord blessed him. Now, that's an awesome statement. I, I pray that you can get the powerful impact of that. But he goes on and he says, uh, and the man was great. <laughs> he, he, he became great and went forward and grew until he became very great. So it's saying the man already, he was already blessed, already had. But then God, through, through obeying God, he became very great. Now, I was talking about this. It's talking about rich. Amen. It's talking about being a man that was, was abundantly supplied. So now watch what he says here as we continue uh, in verse number 14, for he had possession. Now listen, see that, that you know, it's not a spiritual thing here. He's talking about actual possessions. So he said he had, and he, for he had possessions of flocks and possession of herds and the great store of servants and the Philistines, watch this, the enemy envied him. They did what? They envied him. When will the day come where the enemy will envy you? where the world will envy you. When your heart and your mind is made set and set sure that you're going to sow and regardless of what situations, anything that the enemy will threaten you with any shortage or lack, you know that the Lord our God is your source, not the enemy, not the world. Everything else is resources. Amen. This is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Thank you again for hearing me this morning. And I want you to go forth in demonstration and power of the Holy Ghost when it comes to your finances. The Lord our God is faithful, he is gracious, he is good, and he is kind. Until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day. <music>